right guys let's get right into it so here is my devil hand coral my leather coral when I got it at the store it was beautiful like you saw at the beginning of the video uh, as a new reefer I thought nothing was going to happen to it um, and I did a little, a little bit of a research when I got it I knew they close up from time to time uh, I did not know that sometimes they just decide to close up and remain closed for a really long time. So in, in the video you can see the coral had already coralline algae growing from it. I At the beginning I didn't pay too much attention to it, I thought it was just part of uh, the coral being like that. Uh, after a few months, I will say three months, I started to worry about it. Uh, I didn't want to lose the piece, it was a, an expensive piece um, and also uh, I really want to try to save it at any means possible. So I did a little bit of research and I find out that um, you can use hydrogen peroxide uh, in order to come back uh, the algae uh, build up into it. So that's what I did. I, I purchased some hydrogen peroxide, 3% food grade. Um, after many YouTube videos, I watched that stuff. And a few videos, they show how to proceed with it. So here in the, in the video that I'm showing, you can see that I have a, a separate kind of um, Tupperware where I grab the hydrogen peroxide and I um, I square like a few millimeters uh, I will say like 10 millimeters at a time at the beginning I didn't see any effect into it um, and the people that did this they did it in progressions they did a little bit then uh, next they did and a little bit more All right, so when I, I use the hydrogen peroxide, I score it 10 mils at a time. Um, the people that did it, they did it in intervals. They did it uh, 10 mils every other day or 10 mils um, once a week. Uh, I didn't see any results and I thought into my mind, uh, okay, the coral looks like crap already, so if I lose it, whatever. So I did up probably like 30, 40 mils at once. So the result of this was the immediately I noticed the green hair algae uh, peeling off. That was my, the first uh, observation. The second one was uh, the crawling algae on the coral. Uh, it, it was decaying in some way. Uh, you could see that it turned from uh, purple color, which it usually is, to uh, a whitish, um, like a dead coral, normal coral for a, a dead uh, skeleton. Um, when I started noticing this, I thought to myself, well, it, it is, that's a lot. Uh, I, I stopped the uh, hydrogen peroxide process and then I pour the salt water around the Tupperware. It noticed that I didn't throw the um, salt water in top of the coral. I, I pour I pour the salt water around around the coral. That way, the uh, the peroxide diluted uh, evenly. I didn't want to remove the peroxide all at once. When I did all this, my biggest surprise. Uh, was the amount of worms that came out of the coral that was a huge surprise for me I never see anything like it uh, before and uh, the, the crazy thing well a side note from it is that um, my my aquascape was made out of uh, dry rock so the live rock that I use is little to none is the, the only live rock that I have probably are frag plugs so where all those worms came from, I have no idea. They just reproduce like uh, crazy. So, uh, getting back into the coral it is 
I mean, uh, notes for uh, for this project uh, were uh, it, it worked. It worked per, uh, very good. Not as fast as I I, I was expecting. Uh, it took the coral at least another a couple of weeks to uh, recover from the, from this stuff. Um, after it, uh, after the whole process was done, I put the coral back in the tank. I let it be for a few um, couple of days, maybe like probably a week, complete week. And then I started noticing that the coral uh, was changing the, the skin uh, like they normally do. All right, so in the next clip, you will see the coral as it is. And um, I hope you guys uh, like this little uh, project. Uh, maybe if you if you relate to it, uh, you, it, might, it might work for you, okay? Here is the leather coral after the treatment. So the leather corals are a group of soft corals which include includes the genus Sarcophyton, Lobophyton, and Cinolaria. This one is a Lobophyton, Devil's Hand. Uh, these corals are really hardy and they make an, a great addition to any reef tank. Quick tip that I will give you is try to follow the instructions. Do not just go and start putting hydrogen peroxide like crazy into the coral. It doesn't damage the skin that much, but a large quantities could uh, potentially damage it. Um, wh what I did when I put like, uh, I, I should do the 10 mils at a time. I was doing uh, a large amount. I did actually a large amount when I did that. Um, so if you, if you wanna do this type of situation, start little. You are not going to see results immediately, but um, as you go, let's say you have the coral and you have to, you have the, you have the same situation as I did. Uh, every other day, you do the treatment. It's very, if it's very severe, do it like every day, a little bit every day. The coral will, will not mind. Now, for the leather coral. It seems that you have to find like the sweet spot for them to open up uh, really beautifully and nicely. Uh, the one that I have right there, it seems that that's its sweet spot. I, I used to have it in different points in the tank and that right there it seems is the best spot for it. When I got this coral, it was forbidden to graft uh, to green corals from any other place besides Australia. The place that I got this coral from is, um, is a supplier overseas and the, the Indo-Pacific was closed at that time. So that's why this guy is 100% from the Vario Reef. How much it, it cost? A piece that size? Now it's, it's very big now, but when I got it, uh, when you saw the previous video, it was a little bit smaller. It cost me almost, um, a hundred dollars for that piece because uh, it, it, because it was from Australia and also the demand in corals was high at the time uh, some people might find it and less than a hundred bucks maybe 50 40 even 30 bucks all right guys thank you so much for watching my video I hope you liked the content about the leather coral it's a beautiful specimen uh, mine comes from Australia and I think the, the video shows uh, what to do in a situation such as that. Um, it's a super easy coral to keep. If you, if you like uh, that, that type of stuff, please give me a thumbs up. Tell me uh, if you like it. If you don't like it, of course, give me a thumbs down and tell me why. Why, uh, why should I do to improve myself and, and the upcoming videos? Uh, once again guys, thank you so much for watching my video and uh, I hope uh, I can see you next time. Thank you.